If you're curious about what I've just played, this video might be something for you. Hey everybody, welcome to the Art of Drumming YouTube channel. Today's video will be about three things that are just playable when being played open-handed. Now, some of you are familiar with the term open-handed, some of you are not. So let's just make clear what the definition of open-handed playing would be. The definition is playing this beautiful instrument by avoiding to cross your hands. In my case, I'm not playing the hi-hat with the right hand, but I lead it with the left hand and the right hand remains on the snare. And when I play the right cymbal, I lead it with my right hand while the left hand remains on the snare. I just want to point out that I don't want to say open-handed is the way to go. You can still play cross-handed and play however you feel comfortable. But even for cross-handed players, it's a super cool insight and a new perspective and a new source of ideas to really check this stuff out at least once. Now the first topic would be to incorporate the hi-hat while playing the rim click. For open-handed I recommend playing the rim click over here, just above your left knee and not over here because there's usually a microphone and not that much space. What is cool about this position is that we have a super short distance between the rim click sound and the hi-hat sound is a super short, as you can see. Now, with cross-handed playing, there's a larger distance and also our right hand is sort of in the way. Furthermore, we have one more sound option when playing open-handed. We not just only have the rim click sound and the hi-hat sound, but we can also hit the hi-hat and the snare drum simultaneously which gives us one more sound option to work with. Now, let me show you how I use these three sounds in a sort of drum and bass context. With this topic, you might be familiar because you've seen it before. When playing open-handed, it's possible to play, for example, a ostinato on the hi-hat and move around the drum set with your right hand freely without having to add a sort of auxiliary hi-hat over here to be able to move around the drum set with the left hand. Let me just quickly demonstrate an example where I play a steady hi-hat ostinato and play some stuff in corporate toms, snares, maybe the stack and see what it sounds like. The third topic would be the following. Just imagine you have to play a gig where there's an 80s song with a 16th note hi-hat and a super fat snare to play. Now, the side snare or the fat snare is usually located on the left side. And to play 16th note patterns leading with your right hand as you would as a cross-handed player, it's super hard to incorporate that snare. I'm quickly gonna demonstrate why it's so hard because your left hand is always in the way. Now you could say, okay, then I'm gonna move the snare over here between my two legs for that one song. Of course that's possible, 
but imagine a front of house has specific equalizer and compression on the snare and if you're just gonna switch it for one song then it will definitely sound dull and you have one more enemy. Um, but with open-handed playing that's no problem because you're used to lead with your left hand and I'm going to show you that you have no troubles to play a 16th note hi-hat pattern with a fat snare on your left when leading with the left hand. So no trouble spots here. I'ma go and demonstrate a sort of groove using this technique leading with my left hand. If this was interesting for you, make sure to check out artofdrumming.com where we have even more courses dealing with the topic of open-handed playing. I really encourage you to check out the stuff you've maybe heard in the video. I hope you're inspired to get a sort of new perspective on your instrument and hit the subscribe button and I see you soon. Bye bye.